An extended car warranty may sound like a great idea, especially for a used car, but there's a lot of things you need to know before you make that purchase and sign on the bottom line. Sometimes it makes more sense to take that money and put it into a savings account, and other times that extended warranty might be something that's a good fit for you in your circumstances. If an extended warranty is something you're considering, you definitely want to watch this video. We've had a lot of questions about car warranties, and so we put this together to help you make a wise decision. How long does a car warranty last? Well, that depends on the vehicle. Some vehicles are three years, 36,000 miles, while others go five years, 60,000 miles, and the longest warranty available right now is a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Mind you, that is not always the powertrain. There are other components, and that's where you really need to read that print. How do I check if my car is still under warranty? If you do have a vehicle, you purchase it secondhand, you're unsure of the warranty, contact the service department of that brand. They can give you the information. You just give them the vehicle identification number. And as long as the maintenance has been recorded, you will be in good shape until that warranty ends. Can you get an extended warranty at any time? Well, the smartest thing to do is to use the existing warranty on your vehicle. And once it gets close to the end of your warranty, that would be the time to consider an extended warranty. If you're purchasing the vehicle used or a certified pre-owned from a dealer, it's important to ask before you make the offer on the vehicle. Sometimes that warranty is not transferable and other times there is a fee. If you're buying from a private owner, that warranty may not be transferable and then you'll have to consider an extended warranty plan. What's the difference between a car warranty and car insurance? Well, car insurance is a different animal. That's there in case of a collision or an accident or something happens to replace that vehicle or to get it repaired. A car warranty is not a requirement. If you choose to get a warranty, that would cover some of the repairs. Remember, what the big print gives, the small print takes away, and it's very important to take the time to read those extended warranties. They're all completely different. What are the different types of car warranties? Well, one of the things to note is you have to read that small print. There are bumper to bumper warranties and powertrain. Powertrain is the engine, the transmission, and the rear axle, all those moving parts. Where bumper to bumper could be those other issues that you may not think about, like power steering or air conditioning. What's important to note before you decide on whatever brand warranty that you are considering is who is doing the repairs. Is it an outside company? Is there some deductible? And that could be expensive. In some cases, it's best to just save the money, put it aside in case you do have a problem, or in other cases, you might find a really good warranty that will cover you in a way that fits your needs. How can I avoid car warranty scams? Well, it's important to do your homework before you pick whatever company is that you're considering. Companies sometimes go out of business and then you will have nothing. And other times your phone will ring and you didn't even ask for this call to say that your car is out of warranty and that you should consider whatever brand this is. Anytime you get an unsolicited phone call, hang up and never say the word yes, because the moment you do, you've entrapped yourself in one of their scams. If you're in doubt, read the big print and the small print. Have an attorney or a friend look at it who's more experienced. There are some great companies out there, but there are also some that aren't as honest as others. To find the best auto advice, check out consumeraffairs.com where you can find buyer's guides, matching tools, and additional information so you can make a well-informed decision for you and your loved ones. Here's the bottom line. If you choose to get an extended warranty, do your homework. With the big print, give the small print, taketh away. There's a lot of deductibles and a lot of little things that may find you frustrated and realize you've wasted your money, where in other cases, this may be the best investment ever. So find a reputable company before you make a final decision. If you want to see more videos like this, check out my website, carcoachreports.com for more car smarts. I'm Lauren Fix for Local Now.